Hey guys, what's going on? Adam Snyder here with The Homemade Entrepreneur. So today I wanna to talk to you guys about keeping your sales consistent, uh, getting rid of the, the peaks and valleys in your, in your sales. So well, let's just look at this chart right here. This great graph thingy that I drew, I don't know what you call it. But, so let's say your typical sales Let's say you want the average that I see people wanting are $500 a day in sales. So $500 in sales is actually, it's very easy to get to. Um, $500 is not a lot, especially if you have been doing this for a few months. Um, you can see you will consistently make some money. You'll consistently get sales as long as you're consistently sourcing. Okay, so what, and the reason I'm, I wanted to talk about this is because I got a uh, email from a client this morning. And she was wondering why does she always see uh, an increase and a decline in sales? What happens is, so let's say this is the course of a month. She sends in her shipments here. Here, this is when they're checking in. Okay, those are supposed to be arrows. Anyway, so those are when her shipments are actually getting to the Amazon warehouses. What's happening is her sales keep going up because she gets an increase in inventory. They drop down because her stuff is selling and it just keeps going over again. The reason this is a, it's a tough thing to get out of is because we're kind of programmed as humans, as entrepreneurs, as you know, you know FBA sellers to keep doing what is already working. <clears throat> so what I want to explain to you guys is the reason you get that big drop off and you don't have consistent sales is either because you are not sending in a shipment every single day, which I know it's difficult to do. Um, when I first started out, I was doing one shipment a week and that I thought one shipment a week, that was great. Um, consistent sales. Okay. We're, we're going to be, we're going to be doing good. Um, you know, everything was good. It's like, you know, why don't you send in anymore? <clears throat> now I do, I do shipments every single day. And I do shipments every single day, even multiple shipments per day, because I know what's gonna happen is my my sales could be, let's see, my sales could be looking like this, and they're just going good, and then they start tapering off. Okay, I don't wanna see, I don't wanna see this right here. And that's why I do consistent sales, that's why I do consistent shipments. You need to be consistent in this business. If you're not sourcing every day or on a schedule, and you're not shipping uh, every single day or every other day or whatever it is, it's hard to stay consistent. So, um, now, <clears throat> the reason I have a couple, like, a few categories up here is because I wanna talk about this because this is a big issue. Let's say you are only sourcing toys that are under um, 40,000. Tools, you're under, let's say, 50,000. Home, you're under, let's say, 30. Health and personal care, say 25. Shoes, under 5,000. Okay, so if all your sales or all your items that you have are under those rankings, what's gonna happen is they're gonna sell out rather quickly. As long as your your pricing is, is competitive with everyone else, you're gonna see quick sales. You're gonna see a fast turnaround, which is not a bad thing. Having a fast turning product is not necessarily a bad thing. What's bad is you're gonna see all your stuff sell out and then it drops here, okay? Drops here, here, and here. That's what happens. So, how do I combat this? What I do, this is pretty much what I want to be sourcing. These are my main, these are my bread and butter items. But, what I don't wanna have happen is I don't want to see that drop. And so how do I how do I fix this? What do I do? <clears throat> let's say I buy, you know, say I buy 80 toys at this ranking. Say I buy 80 at that one, I buy say say 80 all the way across. Okay, let's say in in a day or let's just, let's just say a week. Say a week I buy 80 of each one of those. Uh, in those categories, that's the ranking, or at least under that ranking. What I would do to see consistent sales is now I would buy stuff that would be higher. So let's say it's 
um, toys, let's say it's a hundred thousand, and I'm gonna buy, say I'm buy thirty of these. Say tools, a hundred thousand. And I'm buy thirty of those. Home, let's say I'm go to sixty thousand. Buy thirty of those. Health and personal care, let's say I'm go to seventy five thousand. I'm gonna buy thirty of those. Shoes, let's say I'm gonna go to twenty five thousand. I'm gonna buy, let's say, 20 of those, okay? So the reason I'm bumping up the ranking is because I know these items, all 30 of these items, are not gonna sell within that week or that day or whatever, okay? Those 30 items at 100,000 ranking in toys, chances are I'd probably sell 15 to 20 of those that month, okay? So, you know, and then for tools, 100,000, 30, probably sell 15 to 20 maybe of that particular tool in that rank. As long as it's under 100,000, but over 50,000. The reason I, I leave myself that, that gap in the rankings is because I know if I'm always here or less, what's going to happen is all my stuff will get to the warehouse and it's going to just start to taper off. Because as soon as it sells, then all my stuff goes down. That's why you have to have consistent uh, sourcing methods. You need to go out there every single day. You need to be, you're doing a shipment. You need to see boxes hitting the warehouse. On a, on a daily manner because if if they're not getting to the warehouse every single day what's gonna happen <clears throat> you're gonna see they get to the warehouse then your sales plummet get to the warehouse sales plummet you don't want that to happen okay so by increasing the ranking okay and this is a strategy that I stick with I stick to something that I know works when I first started out what I was doing is I was sticking to a certain ranking or less and that was it. If it was a little bit higher, let's say 5,000 higher, if it was at 55,000, I wouldn't touch that item. But as you, as you grow your business, as you get more money, what you will see happen is that you have more money, you can't find enough inventory to buy you know, locally with the amount of money you have. So, and sticking to that, that strict um, requirement of the ranking, the profit, the ROI, all that stuff. If you can't find the inventory, bump up your ranking a little bit or lower your ROI and you're going to see that you can still make money. You can invest more money into your, your business and make you know just as much money, if not more, at the end of the month. But you have to change your strategy a little bit. You have to learn to adapt. And that's what I learned to do. That is how I see consistent sales every single day. So if you guys have any questions on you know the, the strategy that I'm using, why I recommend this compared to only buying stuff in these rankings and not anything higher, you know, comment below or go follow me over on Facebook, facebook.com slash homemade entrepreneur and send me a message over there as well. Um, but yeah, hopefully um, this makes sense to you. I know my writing is not the best. My drawing is terrible. But again, hopefully you can understand it. So again, if you have any questions, comment below or go message me over on Facebook. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you guys on the next video. All right, you guys take care.